for this video we are going to talk about the chemicals and the things you need to maintain your above ground pool maintaining an above ground pool is basically the same as maintaining a regular in ground pool but in a smaller scale so what you will need number one you'll need is your test kit you can either have a test kit like this or a test strip then you're gonna need to have a baking soda you need to have a chlorine stabilizer or this is the CYA cyanuric acid for above ground pool I could say that you will need a pH down and you're gonna need a chlorine so either a tablet form or a liquid form you may also want to have some shocks so I have this thing since last year and I've never really use it I still have about maybe eight or nine of this here so you don't really need it a lot unless your pool is in heavy use all the time the first thing you need to balance your pool is you need to have a test kit using liquid reagent or you can use a test strip so the first thing I look at when I do my test is the total alkalinity and the pH level of my water. For the total alkalinity, the ideal range is between 50 and 90. I always go between 60 and 80. And your pH should be between 7.4 and 7.6. So that's the first thing you want to balance before adding any other chemical to your water. My city water naturally have a high pH and high alkalinity so I always start with the pH down this is a uh, dry acid you can also use muriatic acid to, br to bring your pH and alkalinity down so you can use a pool calculator like this or you can look at the back of the package and it tells you how much you need to add to per 10,000 gallon to put your pH level down I, I like using the pool calculator because you can actually put your pool information in and how much water gallon do you have so it actually tells you what you really need to add so after I add the pH down I move the water around in my pool it's a small pool to 2,000 gallon uh, and then I wait about four hours to check the pH level again and the alkalinity if the alkalinity went down then I use the baking soda to uh, raise the alkalinity level up once you get the proper balance for your alkalinity and your pH, your next step is to put your pool chlorine and your stabilizer. Or what I usually do is put the shock and leave it overnight. And then the next day, I test the chlorine level. Then after the chlorine level went down to around 3 to 5 ppm, I will start adding my chlorine stabilizer. Do not add chlorine stabilizer before you add the shock the first time because when you do that it's going to take forever to get your chlorine level down and you're not going to be able to enjoy your pool for the next few days then after that i just maintain it with the chlorine tablet and then you can just start testing at least twice a week to maintain your proper level 